we're going to leave him doing that because we're going to move from men zipping around firing big guns to blokes playing football. That's a little link for all the surrealists out there. As we go over to Games Master for the start of this year's Celebrity Football Challenge. Ah, yes. It's that time of the year again when football comes home to Games Master. And this year, I've selected the Saturn game, Worldwide Soccer, to test our players' virtual skills. Each match will consist of one three-minute half, and I'll be looking out for players to make use of the game's impressive array of moves, including shimmies, fakes, and Beckham-style chips. Let's hit the park! Okay, for the first round of our footy tournament, we went looking for two of the footballing stars of tomorrow. That's why they're not Scottish. Please welcome English Under-21 Internationals, Richard Rufus and Michael Dubery. Sure, Michael. Thanks for coming on, Richard. Now, Michael, I want to talk about the game you're playing tonight. Now, uh, Michael, you're playing as Italy yeah. tonight. What kind of game are we going to see from you? Um, good passing game, nice attacking, nice flair, you know I mean, a lot of skill. Yep. Not much, not much to ask for, really, is it? No. no, no. <laughs> what about you, uh, Richard? Are we going to see the same? Well, yeah, basically just a passing game and loads of movement off my front two strikers, hopefully. OK, that's great. Well, if you want to see who wins the battle of England's young guns, plus find out how Territorial Army dog killer Paul is getting on on Gumbly. Join us after this break. <laughs> Back to Games Master, where this show is more packed than the packed World Cup of 1980 pack. We have got England Young Guns, Michael Dubery and Richard Rufus about to do battle in the first semi-final of our annual footy tournament. Paul, who has been trained in the Territorial Army to kill dogs, is playing Gunblade as we speak. Now, this is a very personal situation for me now. Uh, you may wonder what it's like to feel standing next to a television legend. Jim Rosenthal, how does it feel? I'm just wondering where he was, to be quite honest. He's, uh, he's the guy in the glasses, Jim. Okay. This is me. Okay. Thank I'm you. honoured. I'm honoured to be with you. Right, Jim, uh, what kind of game are you hoping to see tonight from our two players? I've been with uh, Richard and Michael out the back, and uh, it's going to be fiercely <laughs> competitive. I've been doing a lot of research on this game. Mm -hmm. Fiercely competitive. They really have worked very hard. And don't ask me for a prediction. OK, so best of luck, Michael. Best of luck, Richard. Let's go to kick-off. So then, uh, just to remind you, it's uh, Richard Rufus and Holland. It's Richard wearing the yellow of Holland. And Michael Dubry in the blue of Italy. And it looks as though uh, the Italians have the kickoff. OK, he's weaving his way through the number nine galley, who I personally haven't heard of before. He's going oh, for a shot. Here. Goal here, Jim. Oh! oh! A wonderful save, though. A wonderful save. He took route one there and very nearly opened the scoring. OK, now it's Richard on the attack in the orange of Holland. Oh, it's a terrible tackle, Jim. That looked very, very late, but the referee seems to have allowed play to go on. Not like the referees this season, they're blown up for everything. Here comes another shot from Italy. Fine defending, though, Jim. I think so. I think uh, we've... Oh, it's gone in, has it? Oh, has it? Oh, oh, it? Oh, they sneaked it out the corner there. That was a terrible call on your behalf, I'd have to say. The fine defending shout. The ball wasn't away. I put the kiss of death on them, haven't I? Looks it's like one it. 1-0 to Michael Dubry. And if we look at the replay, Jim, it was all in the shot. He seems to turn full circle there, didn't he? Amazing piece of skill. I think you'd have to blame the keeper a bit as well there. The Italians are looking so skillful at the moment, and Holland right up against it. Richard Rufus having to use all his defensive qualities. They still haven't really penetrated the Italian half yet, and they're running the wrong way now for some reason. That's a long choice of the chip. The he tried the chip. Oh, that was fantastic. Oh. Tried the chip from close on the halfway line. A touch of the Beckhams and wasn't far wide. OK, now we're going to see a Dutch attack. As a games player, I would be playing more up the flanks if I was Richard Rufus, but he's, uh, he's still going down the middle. Now it's a long-range effort! Right back, oh, it's a rebound! He tries the shot! It's a great save, Jim! Fantastic goal-mouth action, that. A great counter-attack then from uh, Richard Rufus, and very unlucky not to equalise. That's true. He really wants to try and aim more for the corner of the goal. Maybe shoot more of an angle across the face of it, but here he comes again, Jim. Again. Yeah, the, the Italians, though, they are defending pretty well. Perhaps they learned their lesson after that uh, last attack. But there's a great it chance here. Through. A great chance. One on one. one. Oh, oh, no. Again. I said to this guy out to Holland here, they really have played well in the last few minutes. Richard Rufus, and I think they deserve an equaliser. OK, Richard Rufus again. He's 1-0 down to Michael Dibri, but he's on the attack. He tries to shoot from the edge of the box. Yes! Oh, that's an amazing goal, Jim. We called it right. We called it right. 
it dead right. We thought the Dutch might come back and equalise, and Richard Rufus, that was an outrageous chip over the goalkeeper. Hey, Wonderful skill. Here comes the replay. Talk us through it, Jim. Exquisite skill, really. He'd been practising that beforehand, that particular manoeuvre, and the goalkeeper embarrassed. <laughs> so it's one all, and the time is ticking away. We're hoping to get a win here in normal time. If not, we'll go to penalties. Oh, a penalty shootout looming, I would think, here. Yeah, but uh, what a well-balanced game. That early goal for the Italians, and they're coming for a winner here. Another great chance. It's a number nine, oh, but safely the in the keeper's hands there. Time, I think they're maybe just playing out time here. Well, they might be playing for penalties. You never know. You never know. It's been done before. They might... Oh, it's oh, a no, bad he's... throw out, was it? No. Oh, no. I thought it's he was no, that's Maris. it. The referee blows up there. We've reached the end of normal time, and we're going to go to penalties. Michael, in the famous blue shirts of Italy, steps up now, Jim. What do you, how do you think he's going to play it? Will he blast it, or will he place it? Michael Dubry, that is his decision. It's, it's, it's missed oh. the keeper saved it. Now it's Richard, and uh, oh, he rolled oh. it straight down the middle. There's Tom McCoy. One nil to Richard Rufus. Michael's second penalty coming up. Must score here, really, to stay in it. Oh, brilliant penalty. Perfect, right in the top right-hand corner there. One all. Richard, he tried to go oh. down the middle again, and that was feeble. So they both now missed one. It was limp, Jim. Beautiful penalty, beautiful penalty, top corner, pick that one out. 2-1 to Michael Dubé, Richards, third penalty. Same place, 2-2. Two, two. Nothing in it at this stage. Oh, they like, they like that far corner, don't they? They like that far corner. He must score this one, this is crucial. Oh, oh calm. Calm one there, slot away, 3-0, one more penalty before we go into sudden death. It's getting very, very tense in detail. Is it going to go in that same place again? No, he's... Oh, the other way, but he saved it! And now, we come down to Richard Rufus. Does he have the ball to slot this penalty home to make it to the final? He has! Oh, calmly done. Super cool they are with the final score of four penalties to three. Richard Rufus goes through to the final. OK, congratulations, Richard. Commiserations, uh, Michael, I'll, I'll start with you. Good goal that you scored. Do you want to talk us through it? Well, um, we've been working on, like, good passing movements and that. We worked our way into the box. And the striker's been on form in training and in pre-matches. He's got a nice turn and a great strike in top corner. Richard, when we came in the penalties, there was a lot of them going in the top right-hand corner. Um, as, as we were looking at it, it came down to that final penalty. You know, you only had to score it to go through to the final. What were you thinking as you were running up? Well, I was thinking all my penalties like went top corner or straight down the middle, and I thought I never went bottom left corner. So I thought I might as well give it a try. And lucky enough, I sent um, his goalkeeper the wrong way, and there you go. It was an in, into, almost an intellectual game of cat and mouse chess to kind of put about four cliches together in the same sentence. Well, thanks so much for coming on, guys. Uh, Richard, we're going to see you in two weeks' time in our grand final. But uh, for now, uh, we have to say goodbye to both of you because uh, technically we do have the rest of the show to go along. So uh, please give a round of applause for our two special guests tonight, Michael Dubry, Richard Rufford. <laughs> A message for young people at home. I am a highly trained professional and you shouldn't attempt to try presenting in your own home. As an illustration of what can happen if you do, let's go over to Dave and find out how we're doing on Gunblade. Dave, how's it going? 